This is Appendix C, the review assignment. We start by opening a file called Projected, and then we do a Save As and save it as in Projected Statements. So we'll do a file, Save As, I'm going to save it in the current folder, and we're going to call it Projected Statements. You're then asked to fill out your name and the current date in the documentation sheet, and then to move over to the projected income worksheet. We're supposed to add a comment in cell B7. So we'll position ourselves in B7 and right click and choose insert comment. Type the comment in here. And then you can click away and that will hide the comment. In step three they t tell us to share the workbook. You'll find that in the Review tab, Share Workbook. We will allow changes by more than one user at the same time, and when we click OK, this does save our workbook. Now they tell us to close this file and to open a file called Team. So I'll find my way to the data files for the text and go into the Excel C folder, the Review folder, and I should be able to find Team. There it is. We'll click Open. Now they want me to do a Save As, and we'll save it in the same folder, and we're going to call this Team Edits, and click Save. And then again in the documentation sheet, we'll fill out our name and the current date. They ask us to move to the projected income statement and to delete the comment that was added to B7. So you see here that all of the users have looked at this file. They've made editing changes and the comment in B7 is a listing of all the comments the, the users have made. And so we're asked to delete that. So we'll choose right click and delete comment. Now we're to review the changes by everyone but ourselves, accepting them or rejecting them. So we're going to go into Track Changes, Accept Reject Changes. And for who, we'll choose everyone but me. We'll click OK. And so here's our first one. The, if I scoot my cursor over, you'll see that here we have this $850,000 value, that was the original value. Alberto wants to leave it. Uh, Thomas wants to make it 870, and Milai changed it back to 850,000. So we are going to accept Alberto's change. So we'll click that and click accept. Accept the rest of Alberto Conti's revisions. So we'll accept, 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 accept. Now we're at Thomas Ucker. We're to accept that one. And then now we're at My Lays. We are to reject this one. And then Tom Ucker has another one that we'll reject. Okay, so what we've done is we've gone through all of the changes and we've either accepted or rejected them. So now we're ready to save and close the workbook. In step 7, we open a file called Stockholders, and we'll open our Stockholders file. They ask us to do a Save As, and to save this in the current folder, calling it Stockholders Report. Again, we'll fill in the documentation sheet with our name and the current date. And in step 8, it asks me to merge the contents of the comments workbook with the current one. So how do we merge two workbooks? Well, there isn't a command in the ribbon. So what we're going to do is we are going to add the Merge and Compare feature to the Quick Access Toolbar. So clicking the down arrow, I'll go to More Commands. And these, they, it actually isn't in the popular commands. So we're going to list all commands, and it's called, I think, Merge and Compare. So let's get down to the M's. It might be Compare and Merge. Let's get down to the C's. Here it is, Compare and Merge Workbooks. So we're going to add that 
command to the Quick Access Toolbar. We'll click OK. And now we have this button which indicates the Compare and Merge. So let's click that. And we're going to, to um, merge this workbook with the SL Comments workbook. Click OK. So now the two have been merged. And if you look at the toggle bar, you see that this is a shared file. In step 8, after we've merged the two workbooks, we're told to delete Steve's comment on the pro forma cash flow schedule, which is the sheet we're currently looking at. It's hard to see, but right up here in the corner there's a little red triangle, and there is Steve's comment. And if you couldn't find that, you can always choose Next in the Comments section under Review and you can show the comment, or you can turn on Show All Comments and they'll be much easier to find. In any case, we're going to right click on that cell and we're going to choose Delete Comment. We are then to um, review and to accept all of Steve's, Steve's edits to the workbook. So let's track changes, accept and reject. Let's review Steve's. And then we'll just click Accept All. So it says to save the workbook, and then to save it as Stockholders Final Report after we remove the sharing use. So I'll go up to Share Workbook, and I'll turn this feature off. Click OK. This will remove the workbook from shared use. And then I'm going to do a file Save As. Save it as Stockholders Report Final and we'll click the Save button. They ask us to add some document properties to the workbook. Document properties are found in the Backstage view. So if you click File, you'll go into the Backstage view and you'll see properties here. So they want to put our name as the author. So if you click the down arrow, you can look at Advanced Properties and under the Summary tab, you'll have a place to do these kinds of things. So the author will be us. Okay, so you'll see that we set the title to Financial Projection, Stockholders Report is the subject, enter your name, and then Conference Reports is the category. Our tags are going to be Projections and Stockholders. We'll go ahead and click OK. If I click Show All Properties, I'll be able to see properties that I didn't see before. And then if there are additional things we need to change, we can. We were asked to mark this as a final draft. So if you click here on the Protect Workbook button, you can click Mark as Final. That does automatically save it. Because we've got it marked Final, we'll have to click Edit anyways to make these last changes. So again, in the Backstage view, we will get into the advanced properties and they ask us in the comments section to type something financial projections for the 2013 stockholders conference click OK let's show all properties and then you can review those they ask us in step 12 to insert a department as a custom property so if we click up here and go to advanced properties and go to custom we can add one called department so we'll go ahead and do that. Text is going to be the type and the value is going to be finance. When we click add, we now have a custom tag. It says to use the, the document inspector. So we'll go here to inspect the document. We're going to inspect everything. And it says that um, we do have some personal information in our properties. I don't see any problems with the um, information that was found, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. In step 14, we're asked to encrypt the document using the password data safe. That again is in your backstage view. You go to protect workbook and encrypt with password. And be very careful to keep track of this. So I've typed data safe. These are case sensitive, so you want to be careful to make sure you're in lower case. And then we're going to mark the document as final. That saves it automatically.
and this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it.